I do consider myself a sort of maximalist artist um, in that I try to throw as much information into an uh, object as it can physically handle. You can see me surrounded by my archive here. I have everything sort of arranged according to species, genus, size, color. You know, this is my stack of noses, for instance, which I'm working on right now. It's mostly big noses, tiny noses. I have a section of eyes, a section of mouths, a section of uh, ears, and various body parts, as well as plants, many of which I grew in my backyard. Each one of these illustrations was either photographed or laboriously drawn by someone else. And I take these little bits, often removing them from their original context and using just an infinitesimal amount and put them in my work. So I sort of feel like there's this sort of buzz of the collective world that I live in. This work is for a show that's gonna be at the Museum of Contemporary Art in Los Angeles. And the show is entitled Ecstasy. The title has to do with both the emotional state of the, of the ecstatic um, and also I, I think um, we'll sort of deal with the ramifications of MDMA, the drug that is known as ecstasy. It's great to bring this piece to this show and have it be seen by a lot of people since it is a, a, a work that's about collectivism and about crowds and about losing yourself in the crowd, it'll be very interesting to see what the crowd does with this. I really would ideally like people to have a transcendental experience with the work. So in that regard, I think of these works as both a window into another world and a mirror to the world that we live in. Paintings are interesting receptacles of time. I spent six months making this work, but when people walk up and look at it, they see it all in an instant, and then they move on.